an amateur to Rosado's eight and three record as an amateur fighter. Victories including 15 knockouts with five defeats. Four victories including 21 knockouts. Giving him the greatest hail ratio in middleweight championship history from Karaganda, Kazakhstan. The undefeated WBA IBO middleweight champion of the world, the Kazakh KO King, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. With five first round knockouts in his career, Rosado has two. Golovkin has never been down as a pro or an amateur. See Golovkin putting a lot of pressure right now. He's, letting, he's sending a message to Rosado that, hey, I'm a middleweight and you're a 154 pounder. But Rosado does have some pop and Golovkin does not move his head. Rosado has been mentored by fellow Philadelphia fighter Bernard Hopkins. Been to five camps with Hopkins. Good short right hand inside by Golovkin. Thumping right. End of round number one. Well, our first bout of the evening had Rocky Martinez keeping his 130 pound title. Lovkin 10 of 45 in the round. Rosado 7 of 38. Golovkin, Golovkin just wants to land a big shot. He makes no secret about it that that's what he's here to do is get a knockout. But Rosado's got two things going on. Number one, he's got to win rounds, but he's also got to get some respect. So that means at some point he's going to have to open up. Defense by Rosado to dip away from any danger. Rosado looks like he has a little cut over his left eye. Good right hand from Golovkin. Puts Rosado on the retreat. Golovkin even went from Rosado. Good jab from Golovkin. And then a right hand. And there's blood on the left eye of Rosado. Considering that there's been no clinches for referee Steve Smoger to separate the two. I'm going to assume that came from a punch. The issue is when you have 11 amateur fights and your opponent had 350 um, in exchanges, his punches will tend to get there first. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, so far for Rosado, those jabs notwithstanding, his legs have done the fighting so far. Golovkin stepped in with a right as Rosado tried to get his offense going. End of round two. When he tried to get that offense like that going, me, he got clipped. How you feel? Listen. You're doing good. Moving a little bit too much. Get your shots off. It has his feet under him. And he, he just put his weight behind it. And you can see the way it landed that it, it had all his power behind it. And that opened up the cut. Referee Steve Smoger confirmed with me in between rounds that that cut on the left eye of Rosado was from a punch, so the long and short of that is if that cut, it's, it's not an accidental clash of heads, it's from a punch. Good right hand from Rosado, taking advantage of the fact that Golovkin's head stays in the middle. He's definitely touching Golovkin, because Golovkin's got some red spots on his face, too. Or as he said, Golovkin, very good. There's a right hand from Golovkin, steps in with a left. Digs in with a power jab again and rocks back Rosado. Rosado on his heels here in round three. You got Rosado buzzed a little bit. Rosado's got to stay focused, man. He's got to continue to do what he's been doing and not get into the machismo because that's when he can find possibly be looking at the lights. In stylistically or in terms of the mental makeup or anything like that, but just in terms of the reaction guys have to Golovkin's punches. He's like a middleweight Mike Tyson. Tyson's name gets connected to a lot of punchers, but he touches guys and they wobble. There's a counter right hand from Golovkin. A 
Well, Golovkin has landed some very good power shots here in round number three. And that's the end of the round. 52% of his punches in the last round, 33 of 64. And he was accurate with the power as well as we check in with Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Gennady Golovkin. You know, I gotta tell you something, Bob. Gabe Rosado, you know, every time I've seen him, he was a, a guy that comes forward that bangs just like Gennady Golovkin's doing now. Basically, it's that Golovkin right hand, that left jab, murderous power shots. Three to nothing, Golovkin. And if it looks, it, Andre and I have both made the comment. He backs up, he's always in position to let one shot go, and that's what you're alluding to. And, and the opponent has to honor that because of his power. Because he's in position. Rosado bleeding along the left eye, blood from his nose, mouth is swollen. And you can see Golovkin, in terms of the way guys react to, to Golovkin's punches, I believe it was Roy Jones who said he fights kind of like Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., who was also able to exert tremendous pressure on his opponent even when he wasn't throwing punches. He might hit it tad bit harder than senior and I think defensively he's a, he's a lot better. Golovkin's not a one trick pony and that's fancy. It always seems like his footwork gets him back in position to be offensive. That's the key. I would say the one defensive critique I have of Golovkin is his head seems to stay in the middle a bit. You gotta respect Rosado. He's biting down. He's trying to get some respect. Bloody face of Rosado. And your right hand. When you don't move your head, it gets hit. 12 of 35 jabs in the last round. The middleweight average for jabs in around 6 of 24. So he doubled the connects of the average middleweight as we start round number five. Meantime, Rosado ended the last round with a really good straight right hand. And Golovkin has a mouse under his eye. And a little blood, I think, coming out of his nose. But and there's Rosado right there. Rosado's got his fans cheering right now. Snapping Golovkin's head back and having Golovkin in retreat momentarily. Rosado, fellas, nobody's invincible. Good left hook to the body by Golovkin. Rosado sticks right in there, swelling around the right eye of Golovkin. Yes, but and hanging in there. And as bloody as he is, there may be some middleweights around the world right now going, all right, you know what? This Golovkin, I don't want to take my chances with this guy, Rosado. I think Rosado should stay on his jab. He needs to pick that jab up a little bit more. That's how you give Golovkin something to think about. Good stiff jab there from Golovkin to end the round. Golovkin was 19 of 42 with his jabs, 45%. As he threw 80 punches in the round. Doctor intervention. Steve Smoger asked the doctor to take a look. On the uppercut, rock back Rosado. He didn't see that one, fellas. Rosado still landing shots. And he's still standing. Proxa, Gennady's debut on our air several months ago. Blood right now. Proxa was gone already. Proxa retired Sebastian Sylvester. And, and Rosado's gotten farther in the fight than he did. He's landed more punches, too. Not supposed to be in there in round six, taking the oh. shots that Rosado's taking. Wow, what a shot right to the mouth of Rosado. Blood just everywhere. And on Streaming the other out hand, of the nose. You can look and say he's not getting frustrated. Golovkin's game plan and being patient. What, 
What point do you maybe you have to stop this? Look at the blood. Rosado is just a bloody mess through six. That's to continue despite that left eye being an absolute mess. And now Steve Smogel will have the doctor look at it. Stop the fight. Rosado said no. Briscoe seems like a, one of these student of the game trainers out of Philly, but hasn't been at this level yet, Andre. And maybe he needed to take that upon himself and not risk his fighter there because it doesn't look like there's a lot of quit in Rosado. Does have fight left in him, boy. He's a bloody mess, though. Uh, he's a strong right hand from Golovkin. Blood doesn't always equate to meaning that he's taking punishment. It just looks bad. Yeah. In this case, I think it's both. And now his lip looks like it's torn open. It might be his nose. Yeah, I mean, that right hand in the last round, right to the face of Rosado, cracked him up pretty good. And now Golovkin putting his power punches together. Anybody, good uppercut inside from Golovkin, would have a problem if the Rosado camp informed the ringside position that they should stop the fight. But ultimately, I agree with you, Max. A guy like Rosado, he's not going to quit. Oh. You got to help him out if he gets into a tough situation. Seems those corner man, Billy Briscoe, does care about him and knows what he's doing. But um, trainers and fighters sometimes come up together and reach the big stage together and learn together. Ward off Golovkin as he eats a jab right there. I mean, that jab rolled his eyes back in his head. He lo Rosado lost focus with his eyes from a jab. Yeah, well, at this point, this is when I start to get concerned is when I see a Rosado not fighting back. As long as he's fighting back, to a degree, you got to give him a shot. But right now, he's looking to survive. You may have to come in and help him. Peppering him with shots. And of all the guys to have to go through this against. Oh, and they're, the corner, the, they're going to stop it. The corner of... Rosado stopping it. Come on. They're, they're, Steve Smoger's not hearing them. They, they throw in a towel. Steve, get in Steve, there. get in there. The inspector, the Rosado corner, did the right thing. They asked the inspector to step up to the top of the ropes and stop it. Well done, Billy Briscoe. And well done, Gennady Golovkin. Which is the protocol. And the official time is 2 minutes 46 seconds, round number 7. The winner by TKO victory and still WBA IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple J Golovkin. So Gennady Golovkin gets win number 25 is 22nd.